Welcome to Quick Byte series. Today we will solve some simple problems based on operational amplifier. Find the voltage at node A in the given ideal operational amplifier circuit. So this is the node A and one more word you have to care, care up, you have to care about is the ideal operational amplifier ideal so what is the given of op this operational amplifier circuit the non inverting terminal is connected to ground and input input is applied to the inverting input so it's a inverting amplifier okay now what how do you find in an ideal operational amplifier two points you have to remember both both inputs are at same potential the second point is that no current flows into the op amp when so the no current flows into the op amp So the current flowing inside the op amp is zero and both the inputs are at same potential. If you see here the positive input that is the non-inverting input is connected to ground. So the node A also is at zero volt, it's at zero volt this is when it happens when it is applicable when the op amp op amp is ideal ideal op amp is ideal if the op amp is ideal then both the input terminals are going to be at the same potential and there is no current flow into the op amp that is input into the inputs of the op amps let's move to the second question so the answer is zero zero volt what will be the amplitude of the output waveform of the given below so we have one op amp circuit here and the question is what is going to be the output output options are given now what is this circuit and this circuit also non inverting terminal with the the positive sign that is what i am saying non inverting non inverting input non inverting and the negative sign is negative input is known as the inverting input inverting input if we see the non inverting input is connected to ground and signal is applied that is input signal is applied to the inverting terminal so it's a inverting amplifier the given circuit is a inverting amplifier Now what is the V out of an inverting amplifier? V out of an inverting amplifier equal to minus RF upon RI multiplied by the V in. Here which is RF? This is the RF resistor and this is the R in resistor that is RI. 
we put the values that is minus of now here the input signal is varying from 1, 1 volt to minus 1 volt now we'll take two conditions whenever you get the positives positive voltage and negative voltage signal what we can do we'll take it as two cases first one when v in equals 1 volt that is the peak voltage positive side maximum so v out equals minus of rf what is the value of rf 20 k upon 10 k multiplied by 1 volt what do we get we get minus 2 volt minus 2 volt now the second case is when sorry when v in equals minus 1 volt that is the maximum voltage in the negative side so what we get v out equals minus of rf upon ri that is 20 upon 10 multiplied by v in what is our v in minus 1 volt so this comes to 2 volt 2 volt so how is going to be our output waveform this is our output waveform output this is our output and this is negative 2 volt and this is at plus 2 volt now in the option what he has given a 1 volt peak to peak 2 volt peak to peak all values are in peak to peak now this is our output wave output waveform what is the peak to peak value of this output waveform that is 4 volt we will this is 4 volt peak to peak so the answer is option d 4 volt peak to peak let's see the next question for the circuit shown find the output voltage for an input voltage of minus 1 volt this is an what is this this is a non-inverting amplifier how the input is applied to the non-inputting non-inverting terminal so v out now before that let me write what it is it's a non-inverting amplifier non inverting amplifier non-inverting amplifier for a non-inverting amplifier what is v out v out equal to rf upon ri plus 1 multiplied by v in so here this is our rf resistor feedback resistor and this is the r in resistor r i so v out equals what is the value of r of 10 upon 1 my oh, sorry plus 1 plus 1 multiplied by what is the v in v in input voltage of minus 1 volt right so what do we get we get that is minus 1 volt yeah so we get minus 11 volt so minus 11 volt is the answer so the answer is option a decreasing 
the gain in the given circuit could be achieved by how to decrease the gain of the circuit now first of all you identify this is a inverting amplifier or non inverting amplifier it's a inverting amplifier because input is given at the inverting input so what is the v out v out equals to minus of rf upon ri multiplied by v in here this okay now if you want to decrease the gain here this minus rf upon ri is the gain okay v in is input that is usually it is going to be fixed value it will be coming from a another circuit or sensor or something like that so our gain is decided by this minus r you can take the magnitude that is rf upon ri rf upon ri now how to decrease the gain of this transistor this circuit if we increase the value of the numerator that is the ri if we increase ri the gain decreases so the right answer is increasing the value of ri next question what is the function of the circuit given below what is this circuit this it is not a inverting non inverting amplifier it's not a non inverting amplifier is it a integrator no because there is no input is it a differentiator no capacitor is there but there is no input but d is looks like an oscillator there is no input to the circuit there is no input to the circuit okay oscillator self oscillates if you keep the gain properly and the oscillator starts oscillating itself so this is a oscillator because there is no input coming to it so we can identify the circuit easily as it is a oscillator i hope this videos are useful to you if you like the video please hit the like button also share with your friends